What's good? What's good? I am back. Yours truly. Episode 78. We had 78. 100 is rounding up. I'm going to do a big press release once I hit episode 100. I'm your host, Paul Pickett. Host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, a.k.a. the Common Sense Podcast, a.k.a. Triple P, a.k.a. your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and more. Before I get started, don't forget this podcast is sponsored by Promo Palace LLC at promopalace.biz. If you need online market promotions for your music, your product, your brand, check out promopalace.biz. If you're a dog lover, you're a cat lover, animal lover, animal rights activist, you like t-shirts, hoodies with dogs and cats on them, please check out New Litter Apparel at newlitter.com. It's N-E-W-L-I-T-T-E-R.com. For Shizzle, I got a shout out, Dizzle, DizzleBrand.com. Um, had a friend come over, drank a half a bottle yesterday, and, you know, um, it was my friend's first time drinking it. Loved the Dizzle. Said the Dizzle was amazing. The flavor was amazing. Um, definitely something that said, like, gave him a bottle, said the bottle wouldn't last, like, probably a day because it was so good. Because it already has that flavor to it. You don't really have to mix it. You just put it on ice and go. But there's a bunch of recipes as well on DizzleBrand.com that you could check out. All right, first, I'm going to get into some of these scores. NFL, of um, course, uh, oh, hold up. where are we at? All right, so we had... Um, Patriots beat the Falcons. Ravens beat the Bears. Is that the right week? Am I the right week? Yep. Ravens beat the Bears. Um, Packers lost to the Vikings. Colts got, they crushed the Bills. That's That was the most shocking one. The Colts crushed the Bills. Um, Packers lost to the Vikings. I mean, it is a division game. Aaron Rodgers says toes her. Vikings are starting to look a little better right now, but they're at 500. Um, Browns barely beat the, court, the Lions. Uh, Panthers lost to the Redskins, which I picked the Redskins to beat the Panthers, even though I'm a Panthers fan. That's the thing. I'm not going to pick a team just because they're my favorite team to win every single week if I don't think they're not going to win. I'm not. This is this – is, AKA the common sense podcast. So I got to apply common sense to it. Um, Texans beat the Titans, which is shocking. 49ers crushed the Jags. Dolphins beat the Jets. Eagles crushed the Saints. I think I'm underselling the Eagles right now. I think I'm underselling the Eagles. The Eagles actually might make the playoffs. They could be, they, they're in the hunt for the wild card. And if they actually get the wild card and make the playoffs and the Colts don't, I mean, that's going to really look like the Eagles made the right move going with Jalen Hurts. Uh, Bengals beat the Raiders, and I picked the Raiders, so I I got that one wrong. Chiefs beat the Cowboys. I got that one right. Cardinals over Seahawks picked that. Chargers over the Steelers barely, though. And, of course, the Bucks over the Giants. I pretty much got all my games right except – the Raiders, Bengals, Saints, Eagles, Titans, Texans. Now I got about four wrong this week. Actually, five. Because it was five games that didn't go the way normally they would go. All right, NBA scores. Um, let's see. There was a lot of games last night. Let's pull up these games. Uh, Brooklyn beat Cleveland 117-112. They should beat Cleveland. Charlotte, my Charlotte Hornets beat the Washington Wizards, who I've been high on all year on all these podcasts all year. On my live TikTok, I've said the Wizards on paper are a really good team. Hawks beat OKC, which they should have. Boston beat Houston, they should have. Chicago lost to Pacers. The Pacers... That's the thing. Pacers are one of those teams, you know, you'll beat them every other night. Um, Milwaukee crushed Orlando. Minnesota beat the Pelicans. 
Phoenix beat the Spurs in Phoenix's 13-game winning streak. I still don't think, like, Phoenix is going to the finals and whatnot again. Uh, Sixers beat Sacramento. Sacramento just fired their coach. They still got waxed again by a Sixers team who didn't have Ben Simmons or Embiid. And I think a couple other players were out too. And Memphis beat Utah with a three-point clutch winning buzzer at the end of the game by Jared Jackson. And I like Memphis. Man, Memphis definitely should make the playoffs this year. They've made some leaps. Um, check out the standings. It's pretty much still the same. You know, the East, Brooklyn, Chicago, Miami, Washington. Charlotte is actually moving up. Right, Boston's starting to get it together, though. It, and um, I know the Bucks are getting it together. Sixers are starting to plummet now. The Embiid's out. No Simmons. Knicks are coming back down to earth. Cleveland's coming back down to earth. Um, the Hawks are on a five-game winning streak, so I think they're going to start getting it going. You you definitely you might could see a switch up this year. You could see you might not see the Sixers and the Knicks in the playoffs this year. You might see them being replaced with Washington and Charlotte. You might see that this year. And it really looks like it. Wash if Charlotte keeps it up, I mean Charlotte's eleven and eight, fifty seven percent winning percentage. Lamelo Ball, I mean, had a another nice night. Um, let me pull up his box score. And, you know, in Charlotte, we are big LaMelo. In Charlotte and, and North Carolina period, we're LaMelo Ball fans. LaMelo Ball had 28 points, 7 assists, 13 rebounds, 3 steals, and a block. I mean, he pretty much touched everything. With a plus 12, um, Terry Rozier put up 32. That's the thing. Terry Rozier and LaMelo Ball are actually a real, real good solid backcourt, man. Well, all we need is a start center. Because Mason Plumlee, he's our starting center, but he's not really a starting center. He's more of a backup, man. He's not really a starter. We need like a Valor Childress or Steven Adams. Um, maybe a Miles, Miles Turner. Somebody like that. We need more of a uh, more starter of a center. All right, let me get into some of these topics. Um, first one, John Wall not playing. I mean, Houston is losing games, man. And I'm, I'm pretty sure there's some games that John Wall's 19 or 20 points a game could have helped them win, man. Like, Houston is really crushing their young team. I mean, they're really crushing their young team. I mean, you just got the number two pick. It's like they're playing for the number one pick right now. John Wall is making $44 million a year. And I'm pretty sure if they wanted John Wall to get out there and play, John Wall would get out there and play. But it's Houston that probably came to John Wall and said, we're going to try to sit you a final trade. But this is the thing, man. This is the thing. <laughs> They're not finding no trade for John Wall. You know what I think about the, the chances of Houston finding a trade for John Wall this year? Or even next year where he makes $47 million. This is their chances. Slim to none. Slim to none. They have no chances of trading John Wall this year. I mean, the Sixers barely have a chance to trade in Ben Simmons. And we're talking about... So, Houston, man, they might as well just play John Wall, dude. They might as well play John Wall um, and pretty much, you know, let him earn his money, man. And then it would help them young dudes win some games. They're not winning no games whatsoever. I think Houston, how many wins has Houston got? They got one win. They might not get another win all season. Houston Rockets might not get another win all season. 
They're looking like they're going to go down as the worst team in NBA history. And you got John Wall over there who could average at least a good, probably a good 19, 20, and 10 maybe. Close to that, maybe 20 and 8. That 28 and 8 could help them win some games, man. At least two more, like the Pelicans got three wins, you know. And the Pelicans don't get Zion back anytime soon. They're going to be looking close to getting a number one pick and whatnot. Detroit just got the number one pick, and they still almost, they're like almost the worst team in the East. All right, so a um, couple topics. Rather, I've seen rather build around. Steph or KD? Why is this a question? All due respect, Kevin Durant didn't win no championships until he went to go play with who? Oh, there's nobody there to say. Steph Curry. Steph Curry. <laughs> KD didn't KD wouldn't even have a championship right now if he didn't go to play with Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and Draymond Green. So there's nothing else to talk about. Steph Curry, the best player in the world right now, greatest shooter ever, the guy who demands the most attention ever. I just talked about this last podcast. You know, so Steph. Curry, how the hell are you going to – how is anybody going to pick KD when KD had to go play with Steph so he could win a championship? And Steph won a championship without KD, so let's stop. Um, LeBron versus Isaiah Stewart. Um, LeBron is no more – it's no longer LeBron's league. Nobody's scared of LeBron no more. They're not intimidated left by Le, LeBron. Um, do I think LeBron is a dirty player? No. Was it a dirty play? Yeah. Um, did it was did it um, need to be go the way Isaiah Stewart <laughs> took it? No. I mean, you know, I don't. I just don't get like you trying to bulldoze through teammates, coaches, and then you literally stop as soon as you see AD and Russell, you know. It was just really all for show. It was all Detroit. It's Detroit, Detroit Pistons. I mean, it's 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 embedded. It used to be embedded in the Detroit Pistons culture. Maybe because he was a Piston, that's, he thought he would be a true, a true Piston, but I don't know where he thought he was going to go. I mean, dudes, that, nowadays, these dudes ain't fist fighting in the NBA no more. It's all for show. It's all for show. Um, did he deserve two-game two, day, two game suspension? Yes. LeBron, one game? Yes. Because um, it was a dirty play. He hit him with his fist. Blood came out. A lot of blood at that. But um, that's that. I mean, you know, but... I just go to show you that people ain't intimidated by LeBron no more. I um Ben Simmons. This is my take. Ben Simmons is lying. You being scared to go in front of the fans is not a me mental health issue. That's not a mental health issue. That's just you being scared to go in front of the fans. That's called being a coward. Cowards is being a coward is not a mental health issue. I mean, some people are just cowards. Some people are, uh, are just scaredy cats. You know, they're cowards. They can't face the music. That's all it is. Ben Simmons can't face the music. He can't face the fans. That is not a mental health issue. Stop it. Stop it. He's just upset. He's in his feelings. He's got his feelings hurt. You know, just get the dude a box of tissue. That's the symptom. That's the solution, you know, for the symptoms he has. Get the dude a box of tissues, maybe a shoulder for him to cry on and lean on, and that's it. 
that he does not have a mental health issue. He's scared to face the fans. He doesn't want to be booed. Well, guess what? That's what happens when you don't perform in the playoffs for teams that play in Philly. Well, if you did, if you play for the Philadelphia Eagles, it'd be the same thing. Probably worse. Probably worse. I'm saying Ben Simmons is lying. It's horseshit. It's bullshit. He has no mental health issues. He just a little crybaby, got his feelings hurt, can't face the music, face the facts, because he's going to get booed as soon as he steps on the court because you passed up in a wide open dunk with Trey Young under the goal. You know, mental health issues. This is what I think about his mental health issues. He's a crybaby, that's all. Man up. You know, there's a lot of people that underperform and get booed by the fans. Happens all the time. Um, all right, let me get into this take I saw. I think I talked a little bit about this, Teddy Bridgewater. But I saw um, Rod Woodson chimed in on the odd couple. And Rod Parker had this little take about Teddy Bridgewater got hurt before and was injured, and he's just scared to get hurt. Well, then guess what? Don't play football. Don't be a professional football player. Go do be a ballerina, a gymnast, or go do track and field. Football is a man's sport. Guess what? You're going to get hit in football. And you're going to have to hit somebody in football. Patrick Mahomes the other day, sure as hell, went for a tackle when he threw an interception. But and, and did Patrick Mahomes have an injury at the end of the season? That caused him to pretty much lose lose the Super Bowl? Yeah, I think he did, you know. It, isn't Patrick Mahomes worth a trillion times more than Teddy Bridgewater? Yeah, I think he is. That Patrick Mahomes that got the biggest NFL contract ever? Yeah, that one right there. That one that's making 10 million a year? Yeah, he went for the tackle. You know, Teddy Bridgewater, man, I, I would cut him, man. I would cut him tomorrow, man. This is football. You hit people and you get hit. And if you throw an interception or if there's a turnover, you don't just let the dude run past you. Teddy Bridgewater act like they was playing tag football. This ain't tag football, homeboy. You ain't making millions of dollars to play no tag football. Teddy Bridgewater should be cut. Rob Parker, you stop it with your take. Oh, he was probably just scared to get hurt. They don't play football. Don't play football. Because guess what? People get hurt in football. They get hurt every Sunday. They get hurt all the time. Somebody gets hurt every single game, man. It's football. You know. Yeah, Teddy Bridgewater should be ashamed of himself, man. It, it, I guarantee the Broncos, he will not be on the Broncos next year. Just just because of that. And and I guarantee. And why did Teddy Bridgewater come out and apologize? Because somebody, some of the Broncos on that defense probably let him have it. They probably was in his ear about, yo, we nah, this is this is the Denver Broncos. We don't do those little punk moves over here, you know what I'm saying? Them little coward moves over here. Denver Broncos has always been known for being a tough nosed team like the Chicago Bears or the Baltimore Ravens. That's what they're known for. Tough nosed defenses. You know what I'm saying? And Teddy Bridgewater they man, you can't be playing for no tough nosed defensive team. And you're just going to try to play tag football with somebody on it. Nah, no, stop it, man. Cut Teddy Bridgewater today. That's what I think about Teddy Bridgewater passing up a tackle. Cut him today. All right. Um, we'll get to my last little topic. It's a little political topic. Um, i seen where on The View they was talking about, some chick was talking about, they were talking about Kamala Harris's approval rate. And the fact is 10% lower than Biden's. And it was like, that's people just blaming a woman. All due respect, Kamala Harris tried to run against Joe Biden to become the Democratic 
nominee. She got no delegates. Her approval rate was crap then. It was shit then. Her approval rate only went up because Biden made her vice president. And why did Biden make her vice president? It wasn't because of her policies or because of her approval rate. It was only because he thought she could help him swing women votes and black votes. And guess what? That is part of politics. That's all, that's what politics is. That you run this, you have this person running under you because you think they're going to bring a certain vote that you might not necessarily get. Because I guarantee Biden wasn't going to necessarily get black votes and women votes just cuts and i guarantee biden there is no chance in hell biden does a second term and if trump runs again and i'm gonna tell you right now there's no chance in hell he beats trump there's no chance in hell because Bill Maher, on his Cuomo interview that I watched the whole thing of, he he hit the nail on the coffin for every single topic. The Democrats have become the party of no common sense. They have no common sense approach what to, uh, to anything. And I've always said this. I will put my co- my master's degree in common sense up against your master's degree in book smarts any day of the week. Because guess what? Everybody I know with a college degree, they ain't self-employed. They don't work for themselves. I am. No high school diploma. No college degree. Self-made. Because that's what America is about. And that's what that's what it's about. Self-made individuals. You know, people could say, you know, white privilege this, white privilege that. Horseshit. Because, first of all, I never even had a father in my life. My father committed suicide when I was five years old. So most of y'all's lives were way more peaches and cream and way more peachy than mine. My, when I was a kid, at the, the, the same year my father committed suicide, our apartment burnt down a week before Christmas. We lost everything. You know, so people could talk about privilege all they want. I came from nothing. Nothing. Zero squat. No, I came from nothing. Drake didn't come from the bottom as Drake was nowhere near the bottom as me. He was nowhere near the bottom. Drake saying I went from the bottom to the top, nowhere near the bottom as me. My mom sold me out for another man. I had no father. Apartment burned down a week before Christmas. Lost everything in a year. Everything. Came from nothing. Self-made. But let's stop it, man. Kamala Harris is only vice president because it was a political move. It was so Biden could get black votes and women votes. She doesn't stand a chance to become a president. And I know this is going to be misogynistic and sexist, as they say, but I don't know that any woman will ever be president of the United States. You know why they say it's a man's world? Because we built it. We built every we built every single skyscraper, every single railroad, every single bridge. Predominantly men built. I mean, if you want to give women credit for building any part of this world, one percent. And when we're talking about building in the industry, men, men built industry from ground up. We built industry from ground up. When there was no women building anything, you know, 
It's just the facts of life, man. You know, I don't think a woman will ever be president. I think a white woman will probably be president before a woman of color. Um, and I don't even think that's going to happen. Because I, I don't even think all the women will vote. Like, for in order for a woman to become president, every single woman on the, in the United States is going to have to vote for every single woman and a large portion of the men. But Hillary didn't get every single woman voting for her. No way. No how. Didn't happen. There was plenty of women that that voted against Hillary. Plenty of women. You know, it's kind of like the WNBA, you know, blaming the NBA, blaming men for the WNBA not being what it is. When women, less women support the WNBA than men. 10% women support the WNBA and 20% men. It's not us, you know, and I'm pretty sure that was there was a lot. There, I'm pretty sure there was plenty of men that voted for Hillary. That didn't want Trump. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of men that voted against Trump. Plenty of women that voted against Trump. Or plenty, and plenty of women that voted against Hillary. Plenty of men voted against Trump. Plenty of women voted against Hillary. I'm pretty sure of that, you know. But, um, yeah. Let's stop it, man. It had nothing to do with Kamala being a woman for approval rate. Biden or her have done a terrible job. They haven't done one thing right yet. You can't name one thing yet that they've done. They've, they've accomplished this right. I mean, people can say, well, they passed the infrastructure bill. Well, let's, let's see if the infrastructure actually gets fixed. Let's see if it actually gets built. Or if most of that money just doesn't go to lining the, po the pockets of politicians. Let's see if it actually all that money. Because if one thing I know is there's some fun out there for businesses to pay employees, and 70% of that money hasn't even been allocated. Where's all that money going? Probably to the pockets of politicians. Because I'm going to tell you what, if it doesn't get allocated to businesses, it ain't just sitting there collecting dust. I guarantee that. I guarantee it's going to the pockets of politicians. You know? But, um, yeah, her being a woman has nothing to do with it. Her being black has nothing to do with it. She hasn't done a – she hasn't even done – she hasn't even started doing – she hasn't done no job. She has done nothing. Nada. Zilch. Nothing. She's done nothing since she's been in office. I mean, you could say Biden might have did one thing and – that's it, but she has done nothing. Nothing. You can't name one thing to come out of Harris and done in office. That's why her approval rate is down. She hasn't even she's been in, she's been on the job for eight months and she ain't even clocked in yet. She ain't even clocked in for yet. She's just been earning a paycheck right now. That's all she's been doing, you know. So yeah, let's stop it, man, with this. Let's blame the woman. It ain't. First of all, both of them have done a god awful job because they ain't even done no job. Sleepy Joe. All he's good for is shit in his pants. Sharp in his pants. You know? So let's go, Brandon. That's what I got to say about that. Once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. My name is Paul Piggott. This is the Paul Pinkett Podcast. If you're on TikTok watching me live, please hit that follow, and I'll follow you back. If you're on YouTube, um, hit that subscribe. If you're on Facebook, hit that like. If you're on Instagram TV, hit the follow. Don't forget the audio version of my podcast goes to Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Deezer, Tidal, Twin, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Radio, Player FM, um, Podcast Addict, um, or po yeah, Podcast Addict, Podchaser, and more. Don't forget, uh, my podcast is sponsored by Promo Palace LLC at promopalace.biz. If you need online marketing promotions for your music, your product, your brand, or your service, check out promopalace.biz. 
If you like t-shirts and hoodies and you like dogs and cats, please check out New Litter Apparel at newlitter.com. We also got dog bandanas as well for your dogs to wear, dog tags, and other accessories with the New Litter Apparel branding and logos and images on it as well. Oh, excuse me. Um, and for Shizzle, I got a shout out. Dizzle brand, just add ice. Dizzle on, Dizzle on ice, just add ice. Dizzlebrand.com, do your dizzle. Like I said, I drank about a half a bottle yesterday. A good friend of mine came over, actually gave him a bottle, and he was raving about, you know, the taste of it. And he was just saying it's like one of those drinks that you could just, you could, I mean, you drink a, a whole bottle in no time and just, you know, laugh it up a storm, talk it up a storm, drink it up hop, a whole bottle. And we actually mixed it with, um, we had, a, you know, we had a little bit straight up on ice and then we mixed it with uh, some uh, Tropicana mango juice. And um, it's actually got mango in it already, the Dizzle does. And a little bit of um, orange liquor mango mix. A guy with tequila and cognac, and it, I mean, it's, it's it's great, man. So check out the Dizzle. Got an online order link on the website. You can check out DizzleBrand.com. Once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This is episode 78. So I got 22 more episodes to go, and I'm going to do up a big press release about my 100th episode of the Paul Pickett Podcast. Also, don't forget, I got a um, marketing vlog um, on my YouTube channel, Promo Palace LLC. And of course, my TikTok is Promo Palace LLC. And um, all y'all TikTokers, you can also follow me um, on TikTok at Paul Pickett Podcast. You can Google Paul Pickett Podcast and dozens and dozens of platforms of pop up as well as, um, you know, news article links from the last press release we did on the Paul Pickett Podcast. Once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Paul Pickett. This is the Paul Pickett Podcast, a.k.a. Triple P, a.k.a. The Common Sense Podcast, a.k.a. Your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and more. I want to thank you for tuning in. Peace, and I'm out.